Justice! 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 Cries for justice and calls for the police to correct what family members feel was a wrong meted out to them were just some of the sentiments expressed at a candlelight vigil last night for Jason de Flormont, the man who was shot and killed by businessman Orwin Bacchus. The businessman who owns the Torres Villa Hotel and Bar was charged with manslaughter and was released on $1.5 million bail. The victim's aunt Wendy de Flormont said the family is very unhappy with the initial investigation done by the police. So I am saying that we're very, very unhappy with the initial, with the way that the investigation went. We're very, very unhappy with the way that the, that the investigators and the detectives or whomever gathered that evidence went about it. it there are so many discrepancies. Um, there are so many, but we will, at a, at a later date, be able to list those. But for example, just the way that the video footage from my neighbor's video camera disappeared. I, took, I asked my neighbor, I said, could you allow us to view that? And I took the police into the, that woman's house. And then when you went back, the entire thing is erased. And that's just, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And so we're here tonight because we want to say to the Ghana police force, at least those at the Kitty police station at this point, that we are aware of what is happening. We are aware of what you're attempting to do. We are aware of what you did do. But we still have confidence in the higher authorities. We're, we still have confidence in the, the higher echelons of the Ghana police force. And I'm saying to them tonight that we believe that we will get justice, that this will be done, that this file will be recalled, that this right, wrong will be righted. The woman said she was always afraid that this would be the outcome from the moment her nephew was killed. <clears throat> As I previously said, as soon as this incident yeah, occurred, yeah. that I was afraid that the money and the status and the privilege that the Bacchuses enjoy would end in less than what it is. And it was, it was so in the courts, he was charged for manslaughter. When we all know, I know, I've seen the body, it's my nephew, it's my blood, I've seen those exit wounds. And he is now charged for manslaughter. In the court, one of Bacchus' attorneys, Nigel Yu, said his client acted in self-defense. The two men are known to each other. In fact, Jason and Bacchus were neighbors. Jason, a father of three, was laid to rest today.